What's going on guys, it's Tops Open Spaces. We're back with a brand new tutorial. Uh, for this one, we'll be taking a look at the Plain Jane 2.0 password page. Um, a lot of you guys have had a chance to play around with it, uh, you know, get to, uh, you know, figure out the features and stuff like that. But we've been seeing a lot of questions in the Discord. So we're making this video just kind of address everything and hopefully um, most questions will be resolved. Um, so for this, we're gonna be covering how to set up a countdown timer, um, just going over all the different customization options that are available to you um, on this password page. And then uh, lastly, just some best practices and guidelines when using this to uh, do drops for your brand. So make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and let's hop right on to my other screen over here and get started. Um, what we're looking at is um, a Yeezy concept store built with Plan J 2.0. Um, just for the record, we're not affiliated with the Yeezy brand at all. So um, please don't try and purchase anything from this site um, or anything like that because you won't get anything. Um, but let's get to the password page really quick. You're going to go to this drop down at the very top under right here where it says collection. Scroll down, click on others. And then we're going to click on password. All right, let's give it a second pop up. There we go, really dope. Um, so first off, let me show you guys how to get the countdown timer in the first place. So you're gonna wanna go to theme settings, here this little cog. You're gonna scroll down to password page settings and you're gonna click plain Jane 2.0. All right, if you hit classic, you're gonna get the old version of the um, of the password page which is just you know it's a it's a lot simpler you know store message logo time um email box and and that's about it you know um we hit plan 2.0 you get this new version that we've created for you guys all right so let's take a look at some of these settings all right so if you click here where it says plain or pj 2.0 password page you have to click here to make all the options on the side show up so if we just scroll through really quick, these are all the options for this password page. All right, there's a lot in here. So we're just gonna go through it really quick. And after all, I'll go into how to use the countdown timer um, that's here in the middle of the page. All right, so first off, we have the logo right here. You can show the store logo, very self-explanatory. Countdown timer, different settings for that. You can show the countdown timer. Um, it's where you set the month, day, year, hour, um, AM or PM. Uh, and then different settings like showing certain labels, um, enabling glow around the countdown numbers. I'll just click that so you guys can see. Yep, you know, if you want to have a little glow effect, you can do that. Um, and then maybe if you want like um, kind of like a box look around it, you can do that too. Um, really up to you. Um, then we have the countdown colors. So you can change the color of the box um, that we just showed. Let me just leave it on so you guys can see. So you can change this box color to a red if you wanted to, right? A red tint, a black tint, you know, whatever, whatever you want to do. Let's turn this off. Um, but yeah, you get the gist here. There's all the countdown colors. If you scroll on down, we have the set store message. So this is your store uh, messaging here. Uh, you know, you could do set the title here, the content down here. Um, um, so your store message settings here. So if you want to show the message title or hide it, you can do that. See so right here, we'll be back. Um, you show the store message if you want, you know, if you don't want to show at all, you do that. Um, showing the email form. If you just want the, to hide the message text itself, you can do that as well and just have an email sign up here. Um, so it's pretty versatile. We make it so you can kind of hide or show quite a bit here. Um, and then these are all the colors associated with that section as well. So you can play around with that. Um, the background is one of my favorite parts. Um, compared to Plain Jane Light, we didn't really give you much options with your background, but this time around we give you video, slideshow, and a solid color. Right now it's set to video. Um, if we want to do slideshow, I think this is the slideshow right now is only optimized to mobile. But if we go over here and we have to click save for this to really show. So let's give it one second and there you go. So we give you up to about three slides. Yeah, just three slides here um, that you can choose from. And then we have solid color, which is gonna be just a standard gray color that we have set down here. So super exciting. I love this feature. Um, it's definitely one of my favorites. But let's set it back to video, go back to desktop. Um, then we also have uh, some background settings. We wanna put like an overlay. Um, you know, if you have a video that's a bit too bright, you can kind of darken it by putting an overlay and you can change the color of it to whatever you want. Honestly, if you want to give like a red tint or, uh, you know, you want it barely visible like that, you know, it's up to you. Um, I really can't wait to see you guys get creative with this because I know people are going to make some really, really dope shit with it. Um, 
Next, we have the store entrance animation. All right, so uh, a really, really cool part about this theme um, is that we added the ability to have like a, a nice unlock animation once the countdown timer hits zero. So let me let me show you guys an example of that. So let's go up to the top and we're gonna set this timer to a, to a uh, time or day in the past, basically. So let's just do July, because that's, that's basically past July, and then set save. All right, and then what's gonna happen is that, yep, this is gonna slide through, and then you'll have an enter button right here. It's a nice little touch. You can customize this section as well. Just scroll back down. Um, so store entrance animation. Uh, what's cool about this is that uh, you can play a certain song that you want to play once this um, animation starts to happen. So we already have a music player on um, the password page itself. Uh, but when this unlock animation happens, you can also have some entrance music playing that you can choose as well. Um, and this works the same way as the music player does. Um, you can watch some of our previous videos on um, how to use the music player. The same principles apply here. You're going to copy your music URL um, from your Shopify um, files. You copy that URL and you, you put it here, whatever song you want. Um, you can customize the screen text. You can make it say whatever you want here. Um, you can customize the background color. If you want it to be a red color. You can do that. Let's just wait for it to come pop up again. Let me hit save. Sorry. There we go. Make sure you're always saving your work, guys. Yep. Now we have it in red. But well, let me switch it back to that. Uh, let's just do like this stone gray. Hit save. Cool. Now on top of that, you can also uh, add some text glow to this too. Uh, hit save again. Just want to show you guys really quick what that looks like. Yep, it's very subtle, but it's there. Um, now, let's see. So the store owner login. Let's go back and set this back to the future so we can see our see everything. All right, nice. Let's scroll back down to the bottom. Um, we're at sto store owner login. So um, in Plain Jane Lite, the first version, we had like a store owner text where, you know, if you're the store owner, you can click and log into your site even when it's locked. Um, but we made it so you can change the text for that, which is up here where it says early access. We changed it to that rather than store owner. Um, and I'm sure a lot of you can see where we're going with this. You can basically um, create an early access kind of feature um, to your store or for, for your drops. Um, so say you set the password to something unique that you send out an email blast or something like that or send out via dm or maybe to friends and family only to where they can um enter the shop early if they have a certain password they can still shop so we added that in for you guys um and then this right here is customizing the box that pops up when you click this so where it says enter store password you can change that here um and there's other options here and all the colors for that stuff is here as well so that's pretty cool um and then a little bit of opacity down here but that's that's about it guys that's about it um so now let's jump into this countdown timer and how to set it up properly let's say we want to do a drop on halloween right now we're in october so let's say we're dropping um, a new collection in um or on halloween day all right so october 31st and say we want to do it for um 2 p.m all right so things to keep in mind about this countdown timer is everything needs to be converted to the universal coordinated time zone or utc all right it could be confusing for some people but the reason why we do this is it keeps the time synchronized um across all time zones all right all right so we're going to convert our time really quickly i'm going to show you guys how to do that um super easily is going to be dummy proof. All right. So we know we want it for October 31st, 1 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. So all we need to do right now, we set this to October. Okay, we have the day, right? Um, we have to do one, set this to zero. So this is kind of what we want. But what we need to do is we need it. This is putting in Pacific Standard Time Zone. We need to convert this time to universal time zone. So all you got to do is go to Google, type in 1 p.m. PST to UTC. All right, and that comes out to being 8 p.m. All right, 8 p.m. So it seems crazy, but trust us, just do it. So you're gonna take this uh, 8 p.m. and go back to the customizer, make sure p.m. is selected, hit save, and that's it. That's it. So guaranteed, uh, when this countdown timer goes off, it'll go off at the the right time for everyone across all time zones. No one's getting to the store too early, and no one's getting in super super late. Everyone gets in on time. All right um another quick note on the countdown timer 
uh, when the timer runs out, it works just like any other drop. All right, this password page, you're only gonna see it if you go to the back end. Let's actually do this, let me demonstrate. Cause we've seen a lot of questions about this in the Discord. Um, so if we go back here, go to preferences, scrolling down. So this is where, um, you know, your password is. So once you set this up, um, before once you set this up before your your drop happens, so before 1 p.m. when it's like maybe 12:59 or something like that, you want to come and unrestrict this and open up your store. Okay, it works like any other drop if you didn't have a countdown timer. All right, because if you if you don't do that, what ends up happening, okay, is this will hit zero. Your enter screen animation will happen, right? You'll see the enter button. When people click, they'll just keep coming back to the same password page. And the reason why they, they're going to keep coming to the same password page over and over and over again is because the store hasn't been unlocked yet. So it still doesn't work any different from how you would do a drop, um, you know, with a theme that doesn't have a countdown timer. But a lot of people tend to forget that and they think that once the timer runs out, that the store will just unlock without the permission by itself. Um, and you don't even want that because say, you know, you want to change something last minute or whatever, or you set the wrong time and then now the store is open. It's better to keep it this way to where you still physically have to uncheck it to unlock it. But this countdown is just for your customers and fans that are checking in on the site every now and then. Right. Or if they're saying they're waiting on the on the website for the drop to happen. Right. So that's that on that. Um, let's see what else is here. I think we've covered just about everything. Um, if you guys still have any questions or um, or comments or anything, you know, make sure you just leave it in the comment section below. Um, if you have plain Jane um, already um, or if you have plain Jane Lite, and you, you still haven't gotten plain Jane 2.0. Um, make sure you join the discord. Please join the discord. All the new updates, um, all the new just uh, announcements and, and stuff that we're doing, tutorials, all of that. It gets posted there first. So if you don't join the Discord, you're doing yourself a big disservice. I mean, there's tons of other creators in there also, um, where you know people are sharing designs and, and getting feedback and and all that good stuff. So definitely join. Um, hopefully this tutorial helps you out. If you guys have any questions or comments, still, um, you feel free to leave them in the comments below. Um, you could also head to the Discord and get in touch with one of us by opening a custom request ticket. Um, the Discord is only for those who have purchased Plain Jane, nobody else. So you have to have either Plain Jane Starter or Plain Jane 2.0 uh, to enter our Discord. If you don't have Plain Jane, you can get it from the description um, below. We left a link um, to where you can go and purchase it for yourself if you, you know, if you want to use it for your own brand, your store, or whatever you're trying to build. Um, but yeah, follow us on IG at openspaces.io. If you want to follow me directly, it's virtual talks, virtual TOX on IG. Um, and yeah, make sure to like this video and subscribe. We'll be having a lot more content coming soon. And um, that's about it, guys. Peace.